Let's do what needs to be done. Yeah, you play a lot of Metroid and been playing Battlefield? Yep, 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 sounds about right. And uh, you got an hour flat in Super Metroid 80% the other day? Yo, nice, man. And yo, where's my, where's my, uh... Oh, I know, I'll just go ahead and hit the timer. And I'll just wait a little bit instead of skipping the cutscene. Or no, you can't skip the cutscenes in this one. Alright, I'll take extra time not skipping this text. Yeah, okay, now we're good. Since I split late, I wanted to, like, even it out. Because uh, OBS eats input, so, like, I hit the start time, but I was currently... I had just clicked on OBS, so it didn't work. Yo, I would love to learn Super Metroid, man. I can't play that game at all. I wish. I wish. Can you hear me, Zero? Gosh darn, Alia. Oh, I didn't... Oh, no, I have to reset anyways. I didn't change the uh, dash button. I use L to dash. I cannot play the game this way. No, sir. I cannot play the game with the... Uh, what is it? I think it's like circle to dash? Nah, circle's no good for me. I need L1. That's how I do all the X games. Because, like, when I played the X games casually, I would use A or circle to dash. But then when I played Mega Man Zero, I would use L to dash in that game because it has less buttons. And I just kind of got used to L to dash from Mega Man Zero. So then when I went back to the old X games, all about that L to dash, man. It's just so much better. Such a better way to play the game. Um, button configuration, there it is. Um, dash, L1, and we're good. One Mega Man X5, please. Alright, so this is an all stages playthrough. This is not 100%. I might grab some things just because I want them, but the goal here is just to beat all the stages. And you're just saying L dash for the win? Yo, for sure, man. For sure. Like, when you're playing, like, X2 and X3 and you're doing, like, those uh, neon jumps, man, I can't imagine trying to do that with, like, with just one thumb for the four buttons. That's no good so much easier with one finger on the left side and then just the thumb for a uh, jump and shoot. Alright, it has been a long time, guys. I have not played this game since 2017, so don't expect too much from me. I will try my best, but please, 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 don't think I'm like, I don't know, Obi-Wan Kenobi over here. I'm not just going to uh, save the day. I mean, that's what Leia thought. And actually, no, Obi-Wan is a good example, as long as we're thinking, like, A New Hope. Because he doesn't survive. They bring him to the Death Star. He does not get past Vader. <laughs> no, sir. I mean, he chooses to, like, die there, but... He definitely wasn't, you know, the free... Free success that Leia or Ghana thought he was gonna be. I do not have all my HP. I do not normally beat this boss if I don't have max HP, but we will see. I will try my best. If I get good RNG, it might be fine. Might be fine. Maybe. That is so much text. Something about Sigma being in the area, but they don't know where. Well, oh, surprise, surprise! It was in the Statue of Liberty, wanna be? All along. Wahaha, ha you didn't know it was me. Die, stupid Maverick Hunters! Or something like that. Yo, come back. I don't remember what I'm waiting for. Is it this? Yeah, I think it's this. Oh, I did it! Huh. I normally have a lot more trouble here. And then I think I hit split on Fade Out. Yeah, there it is. Hey, <laughs> gold split, let's go. Not too bad. I mean, to be fair, these are my 117 PV splits, not my 115 PV splits, because I can't find that. I don't know where it is, so we're going to be probably getting a gold split here or there. Alright, so for those of you that do not know the wonderful, amazing story that is Mega Man X5, um, Sigma, you know, we thought he was destroyed in X4, but we only destroyed his body. He's combined with the Maverick virus to form the Sigma virus. 
and now he's uh taken control of this like colony that's uh in outer space and he's forcing it to crash into earth if it does so it's going to kill everyone all the humans will die because you know he's always going on and on about the reploids and how they're superior to the measly humans or whatever but yeah that's his plan but uh we're not gonna let him get away with that no sir what we're gonna do is we're gonna fight those four mavericks on the left which i didn't do i'm fighting matrix who's on the right but if we fight the four mavericks that are on the left side we'll be able to get these uh parts for the enigma cannon and if we power up the enigma cannon theoretically we can destroy the space colony before it crashes into the Earth. Thus, you know, saving all of human life. But, uh, I'm gonna go on a quick detour and beat up Matrix. Because he's a robot dinosaur, and I think that's silly. So I'm gonna beat him up for it. I'm a bully. That's <laughs> just how it is, guys. Sorry. I'm just- I'm being honest, though. That's good, right? Wow, I can't believe I got through that section without burning. Like, the fire there does so much damage. Zero, can you hear me? Look out for that guy! There's lava down there! Oh, it's real lava and you'll die if it touches you. Really, Alia? Oh no! Don't you see that shade? If you stay in the shade area, maybe the lava won't get you. Yes, Alia. Yes, I know. I know this. I've played this game so many times, I don't need you to tell me. So yeah, if I touch that fire, I will go from full HP to dead. I mean, I won't actually heal to full HP, I'm, I'm just saying it is an insta-kill move. Don't get bodied by the lava, it's, it's no good, man. I don't remember the spots I'm supposed to stay at for the speedrun, but it's pretty much the same as this. The start definitely would have been different, I would have waited one less time. Would have been a bit faster, but... This'll do, man. I don't want to die. <laughs> Alia? Yep, good ol' Alia, man. Can you hear me, Zero? Can you hear me, X? Can you hear me, Axel? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get in the door! Get in the door! Oh! Oh! <laughs> we did it! We're alive! But yeah, like, um, obviously there's no voice acting in the normal gameplay all dialogue boxes here but yeah in x7 she does that every time like because i mean it's it's good on the one hand right because in this game they force you to talk to alia as soon as the dialogue pops up you just got to go through that dialogue that's it is what it is but in Mega Man x7 which again is a terrible game one of the worst Mega Man games ever but at the very least instead of uh the dialogue popping straight on the screen you just get this little like a microphone looking symbol or something on the bottom and uh, you'll just hear that phrase X can you hear me? Zero can you hear me? Axel can you hear me? and if you decide to click on the thing then she'll give you whatever tutorial message the game wants to give you which I'm not in love with but you know it is what it is oh I don't want to die in the lava please Ugh, not like this! <laughs> not like this! I can't remember how to properly land. There we go. Alright, I need my HP, so I'm gonna be a little careful here. And almost die anyways. Lose all my HP. And dead. Gosh darn stupid bats! Oh, and it takes me all the way back here! I was right at the boss's door, dude! Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's been a while, so I'm gonna make mistakes here and there. I guess you've heard of Red Alerts. <laughs> yes, I have heard of Red Alert. How you doing, man? Burn to the grounds? Yeah. X7 has terrible dialogue throughout the entire game. But yeah, much more annoying than Alia. Though to be fair, it's only in one part of the game. There's uh, one of the bosses. I think his name is uh, Flame Hyena. And yeah, if you fight him... His dialogue or his voice lines are like broken and so like he can save them on top of each other which he's supposed to do for a bit because he creates clones of himself but like he cancels out his own comments so like 
It'd be like, burn, burn to the ground, burn, 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 burn to the ground, burn to the, burn to the, burn to the ground, burn, burn, ah, ah, burn to the ground. Like, that's, that's how he sounds. That's how that fight goes. It's pretty bad, man. Like, you have to truly experience it to know what I'm talking about. But yeah. <laughs> gosh, darn, gosh darn zoo bats. Yeah, no, nah, man. I hate all bats in all video games. Be it Legend of Zelda's Keys. Be it Zubats and Pokemon, be it the, what do they call them, the Batons in this one, man? I hate all bats in all video games. They are awful and stupid and I don't like them. And I barely lived with only a sliver of health. Who knows how I managed to survive, but I did. We take those. You punk, you punk, you punk. Yep, yep, yep. That was, uh... I can't remember the name of the boss for that one, but yeah, that's an X7 too. Yeah, the, the one that's like a... He like rides around. Like, I think he has a wheel. I think he's a pig. I don't remember his name, though. I only played X7 the one time. I never played it again after that. Ah, oh, stupid, stupid flaming Heinard or whatever his face was. Oh, hey, it's Dynamo! Hey guys, I got a mission. I want to beat you guys all up and, you know, ruin the world. But I'm a cool guy. Alright, Grizzly Slash. Eat him up. Use the speed run it? <laughs> Yo, that's so cool, man. It certainly is a game. Yo, man. I vastly disdain both X6 and X7. I'll admit the speed run for X6 actually looks pretty cool, despite how bad a game it is casually. X7 I've never seen a speedrun of. I've never seen an X7 speedrun. I played it that one time and I'm like, hey Vex, you should speedrun this one. I was <laughs> like, no thanks, buddy. I'm all good on that one. No, no, thank you. No, thank you. Cause yeah, I remember I was talking to uh, old buddy Jeff about that. Cause yeah, Jeff is also a uh, Mega Man speedrunner, specifically Mega Man X, though he does a few classics as well. But, um, yeah, I was talking to him about it, I was like, yeah, nah, man, someone could pay me $50, like, as an incentive to, like, learn the game, like, to try to bribe me into it. No, I cannot be bribed. I will never, ever, ever play or sp learn to speedrun X7. I wouldn't do it. He was like, huh, fancy that. Someone, uh, <laughs> paid me $20 to do it, and I did. And he said it was a very awful experience, if I remember right. But, uh, but yeah, no, nah, I've never seen a proper run. No, sir. Oh, I tried to double jump. I don't have double jump. Not yet, anyways. I'll take that sub tank. Again, this is all stages. I don't need the sub tank. I just took it because I could. I have no HP. But, uh, Fist Unction saying, uh, honestly, it's not a particularly amazing run. I don't know why I chose X7. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I am so dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the death there, man. I, I have no HP. Alright, Grizzly Slash isn't a super hard fight or anything. Okay, I don't know how that first slash didn't take him out. Yo, you're heading to bed for crack? Yo, get that sleep, man. It's good for you. You're thinking of picking it back up again when X Legacy comes out? Yo, got to, got to. Yeah, I'll maybe play X7 again, but I'll definitely, you know, obviously be playing X1 through 5, as I am doing today. Um, I'm, I don't know if I want to play X6. I might, though. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to play X8 again, for funsies. Like, X8 isn't the best game in the world, but I like it. It's, it's decent. I think X8 is decent. If anything, I like the boss designs. Like, uh, not so much the Mavericks, but like, Final Sigma, and then the final boss. And there it says, it's gonna be painful, but I plan on getting all trophies for all the games in the X Collection on PS4. You brave soul! Oh, I didn't think about that. Should I try to get all the achievements? 
I mean, like, I'm a Mega Man speedrunner, so I, like, I gotta do it, right? Isn't that, like, like something I'm supposed to do? I don't know if I want to. I don't know, man. Sounds like bad times. Alright, Dynamo 1, let's do it! Just don't you, saying decent is a fair grade for X8? You think the level design is a little too gimmicky? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh man. I'm not a huge fan of the Fire Maverick stage. You just go all the way down then back up, I think? Or no, that's X6? Maybe? No, 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 no. That's... Ugh, I'm, I'm mixing them up, man. You know, X8, you no, you do a bit more than going up and down, don't you? Mm. Oh no, that's X7 where you just go all the way up and down, right? I can't remember. <laughs> One of them I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah, no, I think I'm thinking X7. Maybe. Or ma is that X6? I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. Those are my least played X games, or X6, X7, and X8. You're right, Burn Rooster has an unnecessarily long elevator segment. Yeah, that's the one I'm thinking of. I just can't remember the right game. If you have to repeat in reverse after you beat the boss. Yes, yes, I, I wasn't a huge fan of that. No, sir. Alright, stage select, let's go. But, um, yeah, X8, it also is the one that has, like, the, what is it, Man of War or something? Yeah, I didn't like Man of War stage either, where you have to, like, you're on some, like, it's like a 3D thing, and you're, like, on a ship, and you gotta shoot him, and you're, like, moving around, and there's all this, like, random, like, city stuff and, like, signs that get in your way. It's really weird. I wasn't a huge fan of that. But overall, I think it's decent. I think I like X8 more than I do X6 or X7. Um, I put X8, like, under X3? Let's see, what would I do? Like, X2 is number one, followed by X1, then X4, then X3, then X5, then X8, then X... Mm, it's really hard to say. I really just like both X6 and X7. But yeah, those two are definitely at the bottom for me. Hug, <laughs> yeah, the ride chaser stages. Avalanche Yeti 2, yup, yup. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't mind the Avalanche Yeti one as much as I disliked Man of War. But... I prefer to, like, when I'm Mega Manning it up, I prefer to, like, walk around and jump and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, ride chaser sections. I'm not 100% against them, though, like, I'm okay with, uh, Jet Stingray stage in X4. You're gonna shoot out another one, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Squid Adler's not too bad in this stage either. But to be fair, it's obviously superior in the fact that it's not the entire stage that's a ride chaser, so that's cool. I like that. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I really like the... like how goofy it sounds. The spam, uh, jumps. I think it sounds, uh, goofier in X4 than it does in X5, though. Alright, it's time to fight the boss! Oops. <laughs> My positioning's way off. I'm not the best at, uh, sword dash canceling. It's like, you have to really mash it just right, and I'm really bad at mashing. But, yeah, we did it. We beat the boss. No problems here. I 
Ah, jeez, I wasn't supposed to get hit there. But there's a small thing of health I think I can pick up in a little bit. We'll be fine. As long as I don't get hit again. Yeah, they respawn and then immediately shoot. It's a little annoying. Yeah, there's the HP I was looking for. Oh, there's HP here too. Ah, that can go right into the E-Tank. It's crazy how fast its health goes down, man. That's why you gotta learn X7, no STC in that game. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. X7. Oh, man. Oh, that game. Like, my number one thing that, like, I always think of when I think of how much I hate the game is, like, how in X7, there's, like, these small details on the ground, because it's, like... It's a really early 3D game. I mean, people have been making 3D games before X7, obviously. Just its design philosophy is so, like, this is my first 3D game! And so, like, there's these, like, very, very small elevations that can lift up, like, X0 or Axel or whatever. And, like, when you're standing on those, your character can't fully, like, fit on them. And so, like, your character's in a state where technically they're falling. But they look like they're standing, so you can't jump, but you can, like, you can walk around, kind of? It's really weird, because your character's going, like, they're influxing between standing and falling. But it looks like they're just standing. Oh, it's so annoying. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's not, like, super prominent throughout the game, but it happens just enough for me to be annoyed by it. Which doesn't take too much, to be completely fair. Oh, cool, HP. I love HP, it's my favorite. Oh yeah, I don't normally attack those with the speedrun, do I? No, no, you're supposed to not attack them. Attacking them's really slow. Whoops, I forgot. Not supposed to attack them at all. I was gonna say till you get up here, but no, no, you don't attack them up here either. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Gosh darn it, man. I was right there. That's like two, three minutes gone, man. Feels real bad. I hate this section. I really do. This is my least favorite section in all of X5. Like, I'm really bad at SDC right now. It's It's been... It's been months, dude. It's been months since I played this game. Uh, worst part is dashing down a slope sends you into an air dash, so you fall afterwards without a jump. Oh, is that a thing? Yeah, rip, man. Yeah, I don't know the mechanics super well. Just what I experienced playing it casually. Oh, man. Yeah, as far as, like, control of my characters go, X3 and X7 are my least favorites. It's like, X3 has that weird thing where you just lose inputs. When you're like landing from a jump or when you go into an idle animation really annoying so like you'll finish a dash there's just that one frame where you can't do any inputs feels bad man yeah we lost we lost a lot of time here to <laughs> doctor a lot of time Oh, it's it's right there. Did I get it? I got it. Ah, oh, jeez, man. 
<laughs> Glacom says, I've seen this water level for what feels like my whole life. Yeah, no, that's accurate. That's accurate. It, it has been your whole life. You've been here since you were born. Don't you remember? At least the music's really good for this stage. It's uh, Mega Man X2's music uh, for Bubble Crab Remixed. Bubble Crab's music is, is pretty good. Come back here, you. Such an easy boss fight, too, man. Oh, you're still a bit dizzy on it? That's fair, man. That's fair. Hate that stage. Hate that stage. I mean, it's not like the worst in the world or anything. It's just out of, like, speedrunning wise, man, it's just such a drag. But yeah, no, this this game isn't, you know, it's not all bad. Not all bad. It's just, uh, Duff McWhalen. Alright, Axel the Red's a pretty cool stage. Um, there's a lot of stuff I can bump into, but it's, like, big deal. Oh, I forgot to write the name for the final split. <laughs> it's just blank instead of saying Sigma. Eh, <laughs> I think we get it by now. But I mean, oh no, nah, we beat Mega Man X1 through 4. You beat Sigma, he was the final boss in all of those games, but X5, clearly, clearly it's somebody else. Even though we saw Sigma at the beginning of this game. Ah, oh, man, nah. Sigma doesn't have a body anymore, he's just a virus. How can he fight us? Impossible. Impossible. Oh, man, I don't, I don't remember the movements, man. Zero, can you hear me? <laughs> yes, jump on the vines. Just like we did at the beginning of the game on the first level, where she also explained how to jump on these things. Ah. I mean, it's actually been a long time since I've like read that text. For all I know, she actually says something different there. I doubt it though. Oh, my HP is real low, man. Can I get that? <laughs> well, I did. Zero, there's a big hole down there! <laughs> Is there? Is there, Alia? I think I'll be okay. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's another HP drop around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. I'll take that. Yeah, this boss, man. I generally take a lot of damage on him, so having full HP feels pretty good, man. Alright, Axel the Red, let's do it. I don't remember what they're talking about. <laughs> I have the slightest clue. Oh, this isn't right. He's invincible when the fight starts. I think you're supposed to SDC him, but fire is easier. I think I'm gonna use the fire. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just do that, man. We'll just do that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Yo, my Axel the Red in my 117 PV is so bad. Saved a minute and 14 on that. Uh, we do take this. Yo, always weapons plus life, man. Like, there's a actual order you're supposed to choose. After you beat certain bosses, you're supposed to either take the life or the energy uh, to, like, get some sort of perk. 
I don't remember how the perks work exactly in this game. But uh, you get certain ranks based on how well you do the stages, you know, not taking damage, beating the stage fast. And uh, you'll get a rank for that. If you get certain ranks and you choose certain rewards, then you'll get a perk that gives you a better dash. But I've never learned the routing for that. One day. <laughs> One day I will. Until then, I'll just use my route. Also, I'm super rusty, so I don't even remember my own route very well. Blah blah blah, something about constellations? Oh, I guess she was telling me about how the game slows down whenever that, like, black hole thingy shows up. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be okay. Slows me down a little bit. No big deal, though. Miss Zero, you have to get across using the platform! <laughs> really, Alia? Yeah? You think so? I mean, I had so many other options. You're looking forward to RNG the boss? Yo, man. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, Cyclone. Oh wait, are you talking about the Enigma shuttle section, or are you actually talking about Rangda Bangda? Because Rangda Bangda, if certain RNG happens, I'm almost guaranteed to die. I kind of forgot about that. Oops. Practically guaranteed to die. Certain RNG. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll do the best we can. We beat the boss fast enough, maybe it won't RNG us. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a trick to it. I don't remember what the trick is, but... If you fight the boss a certain way, you're guaranteed to not get the bad RNG. But it's slower. But I used to do that. Sometimes we forget Ring to Bangda and Black Devil exists in X5. Oh yeah, Black Devil or Dark Devil. Uh, or wait, or is it Black Devil? Because this is Dark Dizzy. I'm not sure. It's probably Dark Devil if this is Dark Dizzy. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Dark. De oh wow! Like my tippy, like the tippiest tip of my tippy toe, barely touched those spikes, and like I super exploded. Whatever, man. Whatever, but yeah, no, the RNG on Dark Devil's just slow. It's not, like, gonna kill me. I say that now. Dark Devil's a really hard fight. I don't want to be crushed by a giant rock. I wasn't crushed. I'm still alive. Oh, gosh darn it, man. I don't know if I can get this now. I normally damage boost off of the bats to get it. Aw, oh, jeesh. <laughs> so close to the spikes. I wanted it, though. I wanted it. Yep, there we go. Full HP and vulnerable to damage. Just in time for the boss fight. I mean, the invulnerability's gone already, but having full HP is pretty cool. X5 Rangda is the worst? Yeah, I forgot about Rangda Bangda. He's pretty bad. The shuttle, but yes, that sounds fun too. Oh, okay, you were just talking about the shuttle. But nah, it's okay, man. I have so many people here to support me. It'll be fine. Everyone just sends their luck my way. Zero won't die. It'll be great. Do you mind? Do you mind? Do you rightfully mind? Alright, that's Dark Dizzy. We lost quite a bit of time here because we, uh, died. <laughs> Dying is slow. Don't do that. Eesh, 38 seconds? Was it really that? I don't know, my splits might be a bit off. Oh, either way, we have defeated the Maverick. Weapons and life! And then, something about Sigma and a fuel tank. But I'm gonna go to stage selection. I don't care what you got to say, Alia. Blackham says, sorry I had no luck today, so I'm only feeding you negative energy right now. Nah, no, it'll be fine, Blackham, it'll be fine. Clearly, just because you had no luck in all of your speedruns, 
doesn't mean that enough hours haven't passed. Excuse me. That you haven't gotten like one drop of luck. I'm sure with enough hours you produce drops of luck. Follow age? I do not have a command like that. But I don't recognize your name, Night Knight 58. Not at all. How long have you been following me? <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of people that follow me and like don't normally say things in chat. And so like, I won't know. Like there are people that follow me. I have no idea who they are. Like I have some people that have been following me for like two years and they never say anything in chat. The only reason I know they exist is because like once in a blue moon, like literally like a super blue moon, not even a normal blue moon, like a super ultra instinct blue moon, dude. Oh, I'm so dead. Nope, not dead yet. Yeah, super ultra instinct blue moon. They'll like send me a message on like Twitter or Facebook or something and be like, yeah, I love your stream. I watch it all the time. Sorry, I don't ever say anything in chat. It's like, no big deal, man. It's all good. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I died. I didn't know what to do. I panicked. Super Slayer says, yo, how's it going, Vinks? Are you back to 100%? Um, not quite. I'm still coughing a little bit. I don't know what's up with the cough, why I have one. It's really weird, dude, because it's like, I'm, I don't have like a fever or a flu or a cold, any of that stuff. But I do have a, I do have a cough and it shows up every now and then real random like. Oh, I have to turn that off. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I guess that doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work like it does in X1 through 4. Apparently, I have to confirm my selection. Ow! <laughs> I have no HP! Hi, lurkers? Yeah, man. There's always lurkers. I just don't know who they are, man. Which is fine. I don't mind. Lurkers want to lurk, man. Do it. Live your life. But also, you know, if you want to say things in chat, be like, Hey, yo, Vinks! You cool guy. I, I'm i not one of them super followers. I've been following you maybe two days. I think you're cool, though, but I was real shy, so... I didn't want to say nothing, but since you brought it up... How you doing? I feel like that's cool. I'm okay with this. Uh, how do I do this fight? <laughs> I don't remember! I don't... Oh, wait, wait, with this. This. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And yo, uh, Lady Black Fox saying it's super to you. I enjoyed your stream. Well, I had to lurk, finish my homework five minutes before the deadline. You're off to bed. You'll be back next time. Yo, thank you, Lady Black Fox. I really appreciate it. It's always nice, you know, just hearing people enjoy the stream. It makes me really happy. But yeah, congrats on, uh, you know, finishing that homework. And yeah, if you gotta go to bed, you do that. Enjoy your sleep. Yo, sleep, man. Sleep's been avoiding me something fierce. Uh, Super Sin Slayer saying, Thanks, you're a cool guy. Also, get good. Yo, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yo, we will get the good. I promise you. We will do the things that need to be done. Oh, he's all the way up there. Whew. I got him. No problem and thank you. Yo, I appreciate it. I really do, lady. I really do. Oh man, I have no HP. <laughs> oh, this is not the best. Um, are there any HP drops in this section? I I don't remember. I feel like there is. I feel like there's an HP drop coming up soon. Yeah, it's right here. There it is. I'm still pretty low, but maybe this will. You know, get the job done. Might be enough for that. Zero, can you hear me? There's turrets that shoot energy that you've been dealing with for quite a while now, but I felt like I would bring it up again. Gosh darn it, Alia. Uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. And yo, let's, let's be 100% right now. Alia is a very... Fine Reploid. She is a good coordinator and I appreciate what she does. The only reason I sound so salty when I mimic her voice is because, you know, it's a speedrun 
And when she says something, it takes control away from me. I cannot physically move. She even turns off time. Like, if I, like, she completely, completely stops the stopping of time. She's so OP. But, uh, yeah. Him, me and her, we're not the best of friends when I'm trying to go fast, that's all. But nah, she, she's good people. She means well. If this was a casual playthrough, I'd appreciate, you know, all the text quite a bit more. When you know, it's my first time going through. Zero! Did you know this thing can hurt you? Oh, what? That, like, cannon that shoots giant bullets? <laughs> no, I didn't! Technically. My first time seeing it. Thanks. Thanks, Alia. What'd I do without you? <laughs> I might not be a huge fan of, uh... Navy? Or Navi? In, uh, Ocarina of Time, either. Or Ezio. Or Elzio? I can't remember his name. In, uh, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. You know, just those characters, man. That are just like, whoa, I see you having an adventure over there. But... Let me explain things you probably already know, or could figure out just by looking at them. Did you know you can jump on these platforms? <laughs> I know, right, RJ? You know, Fizz Dunction saying she's just there to let you enjoy the music a little longer. Oh, and his name was Ezlo. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Sense Doctor. I appreciate it. I mean, to be fair, the music in this game is ace. Oh, dude, I love the music. I think it's the music right before the boss rush. I think that's my favorite, like, Mega Man X music. If I'm thinking of the right thing. What's that X4? No, it's not X4. I think it's X5. The music right before the boss rush, man. It sounds like a disco... Or not a disco. A techno rave. Pretty good. This has to be my slowest dynamo fight I think I've ever had. You know, Fee and Skyward Sword in a nutshell? Yup, yup. Oh, man. Master, I've detected that this wall that looks like it can be blown up can be blown up! <laughs> really? <laughs> really, Fee? Thanks. Speaking of which, I've actually never beaten Skyward Sword. I got pretty- oh, whoops. I forget that, uh, there's no dialogue with Alia. After you beat Dynamo. I normally always mash A and B there, just to skip all the text. Alright, Squid Adler. Oh man. It's really easy to die here if I remember right. Let's not do that. And let's not do the die. And now Cyclone says, by the way, you can play Rando as Navi now. Hey, listen! Yeah, I don't wanna hey listen. I don't wanna hey listen. Doesn't matter, man. Navi with the hey, listen. Ezlo with the link! And, uh, <laughs> Alia with the zero! Can you hear me? No, keep your, keep your hear me to yourself. Your hey, listens. All of that stuff, man. You gotta be on the ground. You gotta be on the ground when you dash. I knew I was gonna die. I was like, there's a reason you die here, and I don't remember what it is. Is it for when you're doing 100%? And I'm like, no, I, I think you can die here at any percent. I just don't remember why. And yeah, it's that last section. You have to be on the ground when you do the dash. And there, I just, I was uh, a little distracted. Art Skyward Sword? Yo, that's cool, man. You don't see many people that, uh, think the praise of the Skyward Sword. A lot of people seem to not like that one too much. I, I liked what I played as Skyward Sword. I liked it a lot. The only reason I haven't beaten Skyward Sword is that, um, it doesn't, um, where was my other dash? But, uh, the only reason I haven't beaten Skyward Sword is, like, when it came out was, like, right before I was going to Australia, I think? Or not, like, right before, but it, it was a bit before I went to Australia back in 2012. And so, like, I was in the middle of playing the game, where is my jump? And yeah, I moved to Australia, and I was under the impression that the Wii U wasn't region locked. And I got a Wii U when I was in Australia, and I was gonna play my American copy of Skyward Sword there. And yeah, it, it is region locked, so it didn't work. So I had Skyward Sword and I couldn't play it. 
now that I've come back, I've somehow stumbled across three copies of Skyward Sword. I have three copies of the game. And I've yet to beat it. Uh, two of them are American, one of them is Australian. There we go. I'm done being bad. And now, Warjace is unpopular opinion, but I like Skyward Sword. It certainly has its flaws, though. Yeah, no, I like Skyward Sword, too. Like, yeah, it's very hand-holdy, it's very linear. I agree and can understand why people dislike those elements, and why it can be so detracting from the core experience. What's that, Alia? I have to hit these yellow switches to open the yellow door? <laughs> oh! Duh, it makes so much sense. Why didn't I see that? Of course. Yellow door, yellow switch. Oh man, thank goodness we have Alia, man, or I'd have no idea what to do. But yeah, no, it's Skyward Sword, cool game, man. I, uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I do plan on going back and beating it. Is that a purple switch? Oh, what do I, what does it mean? Oh, oh, thank you, Alia. Hit the purple switch and it opens the purple door. Oh my goodness, she is a lifesaver, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Wonderful lady. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just gonna damage boost through the electricity. Don't think I need all this HP? Uh-oh! <laughs> this part's a bit scarier. Gotta do this right. Oh, I didn't get that. There we go. You can actually damage boost through that, but I don't know how to do it properly, unfortunately. No, sir. <laughs> You're way behind, Cyclone? Yeah, it happens, man. No worries. Oh, man. I shouldn't have damage boosted as much as I did. This fight, this fight can be bad. Like, it depends on what Squid Adler does. A Squid Adler is really chill, we'd be fine. But uh, yeah, for the storyline, because I'm not going to read the dialogue, but Squid Adler's really mad at me and X. Mostly X, but he's really mad at us, because we destroyed Launch Octopus in Mega Man X1, and apparently Launch Octopus and Squid Adler were best, best buddies. <laughs> he's very furious. But uh, we're going to beat him up. And <laughs> Glack was saying, thanks, you have to hit the purple and yellow switches WHILE STANDING ON A PLATFORM! Can you believe it? Oh wow, man. It's just ridiculous. Like, I'm just one Reploid. Like, what do they expect me to do, dude? Yeah, no, this game's impossible. I mean, I did it already, but this game's impossible. Like, they expect way too much out of me. <laughs> region locked? Yeah, I, I was region locked. Feels bad, man. And then, of course, the next system right after the Wii U, that one's not region locked. So if Skyward Sword would have been a Switch game, I would have been fine, but it is not a Switch game. No, sir. Blah, 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 he's a squid. Got it. Oh, is it Enigma plus Shuttle time? Oh boy, guys, it's Enigma plus Shuttle time. All right, I need you to send me some luck, guys. Send me some of that luck if you got any. We're gonna shoot off this Enigma cannon, man. If we're really lucky, it's just going to completely destroy the colony. That would be a pretty sizable time save if it did that. That would be pretty massive. Pretty massive. But uh, let's see what happens. You saved, right? Oh no, I did forget to save. You're right, Cyclone. I didn't think about that. I didn't save. Oh man, and we also didn't beat the uh, thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna save real quick. <laughs> we are going to save. I didn't even think about it. I was just gonna do the shuttle and I wasn't gonna save. No, sir. We are gonna go save real fast. And uh, Warj saying, Super, are you familiar with Mega Man X Corrupted? It's an open world Mega Man X fan game that's been in development for over 10 years. The game has been silent for a few months, though. Still really polished looking. Yeah, yeah. I, um. I've. Heard about it, I've seen some videos on YouTube, people would just talk about it. Seems super cool to me, but uh, what was I gonna say about it specifically? Oh yeah, the dude used to stream on Twitch. I popped into a few of those streams, watching him develop things and like 
uh, create the levels. It was very, very cool. And uh, yeah, we're just going into the level and leaving again so that we can uh, save the game. Uh, you can quit if already cleared. And uh, yeah, no, I also hit him up on Facebook because I was curious. I was like, hey, is this game going to have uh, neon jumps in it? And I wasn't sure if he was like speedrun, you know, in the know with like X2, X3 or anything like that. So I was like, oops, saving's really hard. So yeah, like I, uh, you know, provided some examples, like a video of what it was. And he, uh, he was very, you know, concise in his response. He's like, no, <laughs> neon jumps are not going to be in the game. Well, okay. I just wanted to ask. I mean, it's fine. They, they don't have to be in there. I was, I was just curious. Wait, what? No, I don't, I don't want to look at the status. I want to launch the shuttle. All right, I super need all the luck, all the RNG, everything you have, guys. If you have any luck in your back pocket that you've been hiding back there, yo, reach on in. Grab that, throw it at me right now, dude. Zero cannot die. If Zero dies, I'm gonna be really, 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 really salty, really, really sad. Don't let Zero die, guys. Give me your luck. The Super Sin Slayer knows what's what. Oh, that's, is this the dead one? Or no, this is the alive one, right? I think we did it. I think we did it, guys. I think we're good. Cause like, there's a certain scene you see and that signifies if you're good or not. You know, I, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. I'm pretty sure the music gets, like, really bad otherwise. Saving is for cowards, YOLO? I mean, if you like not finishing the game... Because, <laughs> um, if you do an X5 speedrun, right, and Zero dies in the shuttle, the speedrun's effectively dead. Like, you're not getting a PV. Not if you died in the shuttle. You're not getting a PV. But are you still, you know, putting on a show for the audience that wants to watch X5? They want to see the end of the game? Then you need that save there so you can reload it, so you can actually beat the game. But, um... I mean, and I've PB'd before. I I honestly have PB'd. Oh, oops, that was the split for that. And then Dark Devil, okay. Oh no, I chose X! No! 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 <laughs> no! Oh man! Oh man! No! I can't beat this as X! Oh yeah, the lasers are insta kill! Oh, thank goodness. I need those. I need insta kill lasers. Uh, Wardy says, yeah, sometimes the Mega Man X Corrupted dev comes off a bit salty. He's probably had a lot of problems with impatient fans in the past, so he's short with people. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, like, I, you know, was relatively new to, like, knowing of corruption. I didn't know too much about it. So, you know, once I learned of it, I was just curious. I was like, wow, this game looks really cool. I would love to play this. I could see myself speedrunning it in the future. No, I don't, I don't need to double save. So yeah, like, I was just curious, is it gonna have this thing? And yeah, he's, he's a little rude about it, but I'm like, you know, okay, it's fine. Maybe he thought I was, like, trying to, like, push it on him, which, you know, I wasn't. I, I was just curious. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's all good, man. He's making a super cool game. If he can make that game, I will be happy. Doesn't matter, you know, what exact mechanics it has in it. The game looks really cool. I want to play it. I'm 100% down. He's doing a great job. He can take all the time in the world. That's fine by me, man. Fine by me. Won't find me complaining. <laughs> Zero needs the rest. Let X take over for a bit. Yo, X can have his time later. His time is not now. No, sir. Oh, man. Do I remember how to do this? No, I don't. Oh, man. Yeah, I spent a lot of time practicing this when I was... After my first run of this game, it's like, I'm pretty sure I lost an hour, maybe more, on just this part, this level, and Dark Devil himself. So I practiced this level a lot, because it was my biggest time save in the entire game. But yeah, it's it's been a while, so I don't really remember, like, the exact positioning stuff. Yeah, I think I use this here. Oh, I should have picked that up. Oh well. <laughs> and I'm dead! That's why you pick it up! That's why you pick it up. <laughs> should have tried his exit to be faster. <laughs> Maybe in Bizarro World. 
There's no way I could have beat the this level as X faster and only be slower. I'm not really good at that part. Ah, I'm so scared of that last laser, man. This level took me an exceedingly long time. Yeah, the first time I ever played this, I'm pretty sure it was an hour. It was probably longer than an hour, for being completely honest. And Ward J is saying, uh, for the shuttle crashing or succeeding, do you know that if the shuttle fails and you reset the game, it will be a success instead? It's completely RNG? Yeah, I, 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 I do know, unfortunately. I've died there a lot and reset a lot, so I know these things. I wish I didn't. I wish I was like, what? A shuttle can crash? <laughs> I wish that was the life I lived. Can you imagine that? If I lived a life where I never knew the shuttle could crash? That would be amazing. This Dunction saying, when I played through this for the first time, I had just unlocked the Gaia armor and I brought it here to test it out. Needless to say, I did not complete this stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can imagine that. I can imagine that. Oh man, I am taking so much damage. I forgot how bad this guy hurts. I'm probably gonna die. I'm probably gonna die, guys. I think I'm probably gonna die. I am not dodging his attacks at all, and he does so much damage. Why are you gonna do so much damage, Dark Devil? You despise this boss? Yo, same here, man. Ah, oh, dude, there's a certain way you go about hitting him, and I don't remember what it is. If you hit him a certain way, he's not gonna hit you. But it's so dumb. He, like, insta-kills you or deals, like, half your life or something. He does an absurdly huge amount of damage if you walk into him, and like, that eye can spawn so far inside of his body. <laughs> we dead? Yeah, we dead, boys. Oops. Yeah, his fully formed body is tough times. Yeah, if you do it right, you can get four hits and avoid all the attacks. That wasn't it. Yo, know, if I can beat this boss and we're not like 10 minutes behind, that'd be real cool. And that's what I'm aiming for. Let's not be 10 minutes behind. <laughs> Rip. Yeah, man. Sometimes you just gotta rest in that peace. Rest in peace. This wall cheese consistently depresses you every time you see me do it. I mean, honestly, this is just the easier way to read chat. Like, I mean, well, right now, like, I haven't played this game in so long, so I would definitely have trouble dodging his attacks. But back when I speedrun this game regularly, I knew exactly how he would move, so I could dodge all of his attacks without doing this. And it doesn't matter, you can do either or. One doesn't save time over the other. This is just the easy way to, like, take a break from, like, thinking. You just kind of jump. Ow. Alright, give me the good RNG. No, uh... <sighs> nope. Alright. Somewhat optimal RNG? Nope. Gonna go backward. Taking all the extra time. Taking all the extra time with this boss. Why go fast when you can go slow thanks to RNG? It's like, he doesn't have to do that. When he hits half health, it's not guaranteed. Alright, here we go. Uh, I don't remember what to do! Okay, we're good. We're good. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, that's what you want him to do instead of forming into the stupid wall again, man. Yo, we did it. <laughs> We're not 10 minutes behind on Dark Devil. Feels good, man. Feels really good. Hate that boss fight, I really do. <sighs> no, not save. How do we do Rang to Banga? 
we pray to the RNG gods and hope, you know, it all works out. I mean, there's a way to do it. I think it's like, I think as long as he's above half health when he enters the phase, when he does the walls, then you're fine. But if you go into that phase and he's already at half health, there's a chance you just die. At least there's a chance I just die. That dodge the game expects you to do, in my opinion, is impossible. Huh, I didn't kill him there. Sure did try. And you want to come back? Thanks. Is uh, lightning not quicker to use against him? Lightning? Uh, do I have a lightning attack? <laughs> I don't remember. You don't mean this thing, do you? As I know that does good damage. You want to do that to him for every use that you got. Alright, I should hit full HP on this one. Oh my goodness, would you get off of me? Ah, oh, I couldn't absorb the thing because I was damage boosting. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna die. I would've hit full HP right there, but those stupid little things, man. I couldn't remember how much damage they took to kill them. But I wasn't, well, killing them. Feels bad, man. I don't remember how to do any of this. Used to know. Used to. I'm gonna die again! Yeah, if we're gonna die, let's go ahead and do that right here, because the checkpoint's right there. Wait, how do I do this? I use time stop somewhere, right? You mind! I don't think the time stop's supposed to be used there, but whatever. I have most of my HP, that's good enough. Like, there's a fake wall to the left side, and you can heal there. The Rising Lightning Attack, you don't remember the name? Oh yeah, that's right! Because uh, Ryu Engine was the fire one in X4, and in X5, they replaced Ryu Engine with a lightning uh, version. I don't know if that's more powerful on him or anything, though. But I'm supposed to use that attack just to move around in that last section I was in. I just forgot, man. It, it's been a long time. Alright, we should be good. I think he still has enough HP to not, like, super body me. I think I have to knock the sun out? Yeah, okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, I almost fell into the spikes. Gosh darn it. Where are you going? Hmm, I might die here. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> you needed, like, maybe one, maybe two, or at least one, maybe two more hits. Gosh darn it. Where Jay says this game is definitely easier as X since you get armor from the start that reduces damage. This is true, but um, X is also a lot slower if you want to like get all of his stuff, man. Like if you want to 100% the game or whatever. And so a lot of the things that make things easier for X, like his other armor sets, it's like... I don't know, man. I don't know if it's worth... Because it's like... The way they designed X5 and X6, the armor, you have to, um, you have to get certain armor from certain stages, and you can't get the other armors. It won't let you. Kinda dumb. If I remember right. I think X6 is worse off than X5 is, but... I'm so dead, dude. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm not always this bad. Attack the spikes, too? Wait, are you saying you can attack the spikes? What? That's not real. Is that real? 
I don't understand. Uh, I think I might have killed myself. I think the spikes are gonna spawn. Oh, okay, they spawn down there. We're good. I think they only show up the first time, right? Yeah, we're good. Alright, there we go. Jeez. <laughs> As you can see from the like two, nearly three minutes we're losing here on Ring to Bingda, I might be a little rusty at this fight. A little bit. Why did this game give Ring to a, a wall spike attack? That's so dumb. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the wall spikes. Like, it's not bad when it's just the two bottom ones, but when it does one on the top and one on the mid, and then you're trying to dodge the sun and also, you know, not touch the spikes. On the bottom, it's pretty tough. Pretty tough. But here we go, guys. This Mega Man speedrun actually has Mega Man in it. I mean, we were playing as Mega Man in X1 through 3, but X4 is purely zero. X5 is mostly zero. But here's the good old blue bomber himself. Yeah, I need to stop time. I think. Where's that at? I'm stuck. Alright, we good, man. I don't remember if there's like anything else I'm supposed to do. How does... Do I have an air dash? I do not have air dash! I'm dead. <laughs> I couldn't remember! I was like, I don't have any boots, but like, I have all these weapons. He doesn't start with an air dash in this one, does he? <laughs> Definitely not. I always want that air dash. This doesn't exist. Yeah, Zero doesn't have an air dash in X3 either, and that throws me off. You don't start with air dash in X4 or X5, I think. You have to unlock it. Or uh, Zero, I mean. We saw a speedrunner do it last night. He took damage, then uh, was sword dash canceling the spikes. Got you, got you. Interesting. Very interesting. I have to check that out. Alright, do I remember how to do this fight? Because the fight's really easy if you do it right. Um, story-wise, um, Zero's been showing, like, some weird things going on. Like, he is not being infected by the, uh, Sigma virus. No one understands why that is. And so they wanted to, you know, investigate him. You know, do run some diagnostics. Which, actually, I think they did run the diagnostics. But they were still unhappy? Yeah, I, I couldn't get the positioning there. But, uh... Yeah, no. X thinks Zero is Maverick right now. And so he wants Zero to come back in. And Zero's like, I'm not gonna do that. And X really thinks, you know, something's wrong. But even though Zero's being so nice to him, he's still gonna fight him. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But it does create a touching scene, so I don't mind it. Oh my goodness, can I get the right positioning here? It's like, all you have to do is get close to him and he'll use that attack. If you do the positioning right, like, you then just move again and you don't get hit. It's, it's so easy, you just gotta do it right. Which, yeah, you wanna do this because, like, you haven't been getting any increased HP or increased damage or any of that stuff with X. No ultimate armor? Yeah, no ultimate armor. When has X had a good story? Um... Not really ever, I don't think. I mean, I like the story for what it is. It's mostly just a series of plot points more than it is, like, a structured narrative. But I enjoy the setting, I enjoy the plot points. I think they're interesting. There's some mysterious stuff going on that's never really answered. I think it's cool. I, I really do. I'm not trying to say, like, yo, you watch or you read things, like read stories from Stephen King, watch movies inspired by his stories? Nah, forget that garbage. You need to, you need to enjoy the story that is Mega Man X. Now that's a Shakespearean uh, 
play right there. <laughs> Not really, but I, I enjoy what's here. I really do. No oh, command mission. I've actually never played command mission. I've played X one through eight. I've never played command mission though. All right, that's a split for that. And then the story here, you know, they're a little upset. They fought each other, and Sigma shows up. Ha ha ha! Oh, according to plan, you've made it easy. But what? Zero's there. He's getting in the way of Sigma. He wasn't Maverick after all, and he's here saving X. I'll get you next time. Something like that. <laughs> oh, whoops. Gosh darn it. Uh, Ward J says, Super, what causes Ring to Bang to spawn the wall spikes? When you fought him three times and died, he only did it once, but it seemed like you triggered something. It's, um, it's his HP. It's random when he decides to pull in the walls and fight me in that way. But, uh, once he does so... Um, if he's under half health, he'll spawn spikes as soon as he pulls in the walls. But if he's above half health, he will not produce spikes. And if you destroy the uh, sun thing, then he'll continue to fight you with the walls in for the remainder of the fight. However, if you don't destroy the sun thing that's like moving up and down and around, then the walls will pull back and then you'll probably deal enough damage that he'll be uh, under half. So when the walls come back, the spikes will happen. You owe it to yourself to play a command mission? It's really good. Oh, is it? I I haven't heard anyone really speaking too highly of command mission. But yeah, if it's good, I'll play it, man, for sure. I love Mega Man X games. Oh, I was supposed to stop time there. <laughs> Rip. And it's not like I dislike RPGs. I love RPGs, man. I speedrun Pokemon Red. I'm currently playing through uh, Mega Man Battle Network 1. Which I've never beat that one. I beat uh, Battle Network 2, 4, 5, and 6, I think. I'm not sure if I beat 3. I think I did, but I'm not 100% on that. I'm so bad at this section. Yeah, no, I'm cool with it, man. <laughs> and there says, I stole command mission from Blockbuster. True story. <laughs> yeah, why do you steal command mission? I assume it was by accident? Like, maybe you moved somewhere, and you still had it with you, and you're like, oh, whoops. Or, like, Blockbuster, you rented it from Blockbuster, and then they went out of business? I don't know if I would count that as stealing, though. Or maybe you really, really wanted Command Mission, and times were desperate. I don't, I don't know your story, Inura. I don't know the tale. It was, uh, one of those you rented but never gave it back, so, uh, yeah. No, man, I know how that is. I technically stole Cloverfield, I think. You know, the movie Cloverfield, the first one. I rented, well... I rented it from my job. <laughs> like, I worked there. I worked at Hollywood Video. And, uh, I could return them. Like, I could rent things out for free, but I still, you know, I had to return them by a certain point in time. Or else they would charge me late fees. And, um, at the time, for whatever reason, man, I don't know why. I think they had the contact information for my girlfriend, and we broke up. And so she was my ex-girlfriend. Like, they had her stuff. And so they would always whine to her for, like... Cloverfield and like trying to get her to pay for it and she did she paid like a hundred dollars or something of late fees for Cloverfield So I guess technically it wasn't stolen, but I wasn't gonna pay them for it Like I forgot I eventually quit the job. I you know, I'd moved on to other things in my life I didn't care. I happened to have Cloverfield and uh, Yeah, no, nah, she she did pay for it. She was pretty upset about that. She eventually got over it, but she was so salty for the longest time. I don't know why she paid for it. It, it wasn't her fault. I was the one that rented the game, uh, the movie. It was my choice. Ow. Diver, please. Diver, please. And I'm- Oh, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I don't feel like dying. I'm gonna heal. I don't normally heal here, but I am definitely gonna heal.
You feel bad for her? I used to, I used to feel bad, but <laughs> yeah, it was her choice, man. It was her choice. I never told her to pay for it, and then she expected me to pay her back. I'm not paying for that. No. No, I was just going to give it back to them. And they're like, you have to pay your late fees. And I was just not going to pay them. Because they went out of business. Like, that's the worst part, right? Like, she paid them back. The store went out of business. So, like, she didn't have to. <laughs> that store is not there anymore. You know, Blockbuster went the same way. Like, they went out of business, like, right after she paid them off. Because, like, I remember, because, again, I worked there. And, like, you know, things were looking really bad. But, like, they weren't telling me that, like, hey, we're going out of business. They were, you know, trying to make as much money as they could. So, like, legit, when people were coming back, and they would have late fees that were, like, $60, $80, $100, like, really crazy amounts. Oops, forgot to uh, do that. Forgot to hit the split for that. But, yeah, uh, people, we would uh, we'd let people come back in on a certain day, and we would just drop all their late fees. They didn't have to pay any of the late fees. So, like, she, for one, it wasn't hers. It was me. I was the one that rented it. So, like, I was supposed to be the one to do that. And again, I didn't care because it was like, it didn't matter. But yeah, no, she paid it. Her choice. No, uh, Galactus says, I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to shrug it off that way in your shoes. You'd probably feel guilty. I did for a little bit, but. <laughs> in the long run, I'm like, no, the decisions she made were just really poor. I don't want to die to the spikes. Worth noting, she's a very cool individual. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not like mad at her or anything or anything like that. She was mad at me for a while, but you know, she got over it. You know, we were, you know, we were good. We were just talking. We don't talk as much as we used to. Obviously, she's my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> we don't really do a lot of talking. Oh, wait. Wait a second. I am not supposed to beat the game with Zero. This is not right. That's why he was talking about the ultimate armor. I was supposed to pick that up. Because I was like, I don't grab the ultimate armor, right? I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to beat Zero without any armor on. Which, yes, I am supposed to beat Sigma without, or Zero without any armor on, but then I was supposed to fight everybody else. Whoops. That's what he meant. This is gonna be really hard. <laughs> I've never, ever fought these guys before without the ultimate armor. This will be interesting. And slow. Yo, TDB, saying morning, people? Yo, what's up? Like I'm saying, I like how the spikes just look like someone dropped cow traps on the ground. Like he dropped candy balls. <laughs> Whoops, yeah. Yeah, nah, my ex is, uh... Or, well, that ex. I have multiple exes. But yeah, she's really cool, man. She's good people. We don't, uh, we don't talk anymore. It's perfectly understandable. Yeah, nah, she, she's good people. You're wondering what I was doing? Yeah, no, nah, I, I forgot Fizz Dungeon. I completely forgot. Shoulda got it. Didn't get it. And oh my goodness, man. This fight is so slow without SDC, which is, again, why I'm supposed to do this as X. I don't even know if I can beat him. <laughs> the colorful lifestyle Vinks in his past life. Sometimes we get a peer. Yes. Ah, I've done some things, man. Not all of which I'm very proud of. But you know, you grow, you learn. Like, yeah, man. I uh, probably should have just gave the movie back. <laughs> that would have made things a lot easier. Oh, what I, what I think it was, here's what I think it was. What I think it was is like, because me and my ex, we lived together for a portion of time. It was probably at her house. I probably left it at her house. Maybe that's why she felt responsible about it. And again, because we lived together, that would be why they had her contact information. 
I think that's what happened. Now that I think about it. Gosh darn it. Falcon armor backup strats, let's go! Yo, I don't have the falcon armor. Ow. Or wait, is that the... Yeah, because you don't start with armor in this game if you play as... Zero instead of X. You have no armor. Oh man, guys. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can beat the boss. I'm, I'm trying over here, but I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I can't even use my, like, normal strats, because normally I would just SDC, but you can't SDC once you fight Skyver. And he's invulnerable for so long. It's so slow. But yeah, the buttons I would use to SDC are what do this attack now. A weird Skyver attack. How do we fix this? Um, there's literally only three options that I can see. One... I just do what I'm doing right now and just, you know, beat the game with zero, even though you're not supposed to for the speedrun. Two, I reload my old save, the one that was just before the shuttle. So I'd have to redo all of the, like, you know, Dark Devil, Ring to Bang to, which would be really, really bad. But then, you know, I could do the versus zero stage again and uh, get the ultimate armor. And then option three is we give up and uh, try this again another day. Do I have? Yeah, I have an E-Tank. Let's go ahead and just use that right there. Don't mind me. That's why you gotta back up and get it. Yeah, I don't think I can go back to the stage anymore. That's not really an option. You think you'd finish it faster with the old save? Um, since I'm beating Matrix right now, no. No, I, I do think it would be slower. I think this is faster. I mean, I say that now, but like, I have not ever, ever, ever fought. Oh no. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I can beat Sigma Zero. I've never learned his, like, attack patterns or anything. Like, I know of his attacks, I know what he can do, but I don't know it as intimately as, like, say, I do X1 through X4, because I actually pay attention to those fights, because you have to. With X fight, it's just like la 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 button 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 button. When you have the ultimate armor, but I, I don't have the ultimate armor, so I'd have to do the fights legit. I don't even know like what his weakness is. If he has any weaknesses from Zero, but he might not. Like if he does, like how hard it is to land those attacks, how to dodge. Like I've never really dodged his attacks, not really. Like a little bit here and there, but not really. Hashtag finish the fight. I can try. Ah, oh, gosh darn it. You like the finish it another day strat? Yeah, that's fair. Just because you want to see the game again? Yeah. Uh, let's see, Warjay was saying, uh, One time my brother was playing Super Mario Brothers Wii while you were at college. The same time your sister had a friend over. One day you got a text from your brother that Mario Brothers Wii went missing. Till this day, I still think it was my sister's friend. Your sister had some shady friends. Yeah, rip, man. Yeah, no, nah, like, games that were stolen from me were from my uncle, who's only, like, a year older than I am. He, we're really close in age, and yeah, when we were young, he would just kind of take my games. He didn't take a lot of them, but he took a few. And he would, like, trade them off for, like, really random stupid stuff. Like, he didn't care. It wasn't his stuff. It was mine. And, like, he, again, you know, was older than me, bigger than me. So if I ever tried to do anything about it, he would just kind of, you know, beat me up. So I didn't really fight him too much on that. Yeah, like, my original Mega Man X2, which is my all-time favorite game, I don't have the cartridge for that. <laughs> my uncle stole it from me. But, yeah, it's not a guess thing. I know he took it. <laughs> I saw him do it. I didn't really have much of a choice. Again, we're a little kids. 
Like, he's a great guy now. My uncle's a wonderful guy. He spoils his child, dude. He has a son. He loves him to death. It's so cute. My uncle's good people. Again, we're practically the same age. Sigma 1 is weak to lightning. Sigma 2 is the soul body thing, if you recall correctly. Alright. Now we'll give it a try, man. We will give it a try. This is my first time ever doing boss rush to zero. And it'll be my first time ever fighting Sigma to zero. <laughs> we will see what happens. It'll be interesting. Oh, I might die to Squid Adley here. Probably dying to Squid Adler. <laughs> nope! Just enough HP. I'll be on my way. Uncle OP? Yeah, it happens. It happens. I've also had games just broke by siblings. Like, um, my sister Cinnamon broke a couple of my games. She didn't mean to. She was just, you know, a little tiny baby child. Um, and then... What's the other ones? Uh, some of my sister Cinnamon's friends broke my Bomberman Generations, which makes me so mad to this day. Oh, uh, that was like my favorite Bomberman game since like Bomberman 64. Generations is so good. Wait, no, that's a lie. Bomberman 64 is my second favorite. Bomberman Saturn's number one. Then Bomberman 64. Then Bomberman Generation. Such good games, dude. I'm glad this fight's still easy. Uh oh. No, not like this! Ah, oh, jeez. Cause yeah, no, those blocks get you into the spikes, you're definitely dead. Your sister's name is Cinnamon? Yeah. I have two sisters. Uh, Gypsy and Cinnamon. Those are their names. Those are their real names. Uh, Warjay says, One time my sister purposely deleted all three 100% files of Tie the Tiesmanian Tiger! Even when you told her not to, she did it behind your backs? Yo, rip, dude! Rip! That, oh man, that really, really sucks. Yeah, I, I can feel for you on that one, man. I never had like a 100% save file deleted before, but I've had my save files deleted a lot. Like Link to the Past, that was deleted continuously, Super Mario 64, uh, Ocarina of Time, uh, Mega Man Legends, the little bit that I did play of it. Yeah, nah man. I lost, I lost data just all the time. Final Fantasy 7. All sorts of stuff. My sisters were really bad when it came to that stuff. Like, again, generally they were almost always not trying to delete my save data. They would usually do it by accident. It wasn't on purpose. They were just little kids that, you know, couldn't read or didn't try to read. Now I have to play Command Mission? <laughs> oh, do I? Uh, what transpired that uh, made that a thing? I think I missed it. There we go. Oh man, this is this is gonna be a doozy. Hey, come on, Zero. Oh yeah, it is this music. I love this music, man. Uh, not this one right here. The one we heard a second ago. In between choosing the bosses. Yeah, X Fives. Boss Rush stage music, in my opinion. Best Mega Man X music. Alright, I still have this guy's weakness. They just don't take as much damage now that they're level 96, though. Oh, one of the main characters shares a name with my sister? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Ow, gosh darn Axel the Red. Jeez. 
You mind? No, not like this! I was better at this once, I assure you. I didn't used to take so much damage in this boss fight. I'm just so rusty. Now, would you say not a fan of how long the health bars are? Yeah, the health bars go on forever, dude. Which again is why you're supposed to play the game and beat it with the ultimate armor. Way easier. Half, no, one-fourth the time. But no, oh, I have to refight Skyver. Aw, oh, rip, man. I'm not a fan of this fight. No, sir. I'm thinking of the original fight, let alone a rematch. Gosh darn it. He does so much damage! <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's that. Wait, I'm waiting for him to start diving, but it doesn't look like he wants to dive. I miss you, Ultimate Armor. Those were good times. Good, good times. Well, at least we didn't invalidate the run, I guess. <laughs> I'm still valid. It is all stages. It's not doing the fast threats. There we go, there's the dives. I'm gonna do it eventually. There it is. Oh, uh, Blackham says, this is about as good as a speedrun can get from here on out. <laughs> yeah, no, man. Times, times are real dark right now. Alright, I'm gonna need to grab both of these. Alright. Final boss split, here we go. Oh, hey, yeah, I forgot that the Twitch bits are in this level 2. They're gold. I say this level 2, I mean in this game. Because they're in uh, X4 and X5. They're silver in X4, and they're gold in X5. I mean, obviously they're not actually called Twitch bits. They just look the exact same, so that's why I've always called them that. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're still alive. Alright, so wait. Uh, someone was saying what Sigma was weak to. It was what? Um... I've lost it. I think they said it was the electric one for phase one, and then soul for phase two. I think that's what they said. Oh man. Oh man, dude! Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be real bad. I promise you. Sigma's weak to get good. Yo, man. Yo, do you notice something, uh... Do you notice something different about the speedrun Doomsday? You notice something different by chance? See anything that looks a little fishy? Ow. I don't think I'm beating this tonight. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Godspeed? Yeah, thanks, man.
Why is his minions uh, 96, but he's only level 25? Yeah, he got me, man. As far as I know, there's uh, the only version of Sigma there is. I could be wrong. You want Mega OP? <laughs> yeah. Feels bad, man. Feels real bad. Ah, he did it. How many dashes do you do? Feels really bad. Where was my dash? Wanted to air dash. Why am I not invincible in the middle of the Ryu engine, man? Like, how am I supposed to use that? In any useful way. Like, I have two E-Tanks, but I don't know if they'll last me. If I have to use one on the first phase. The epic walk into you strat strikes again. Strongest move an enemy can ever have? Yeah, you're right. Oh, I could have sworn I could go through that with that, but I guess not. It's invincible forever! Positioning's really hard. Oh, he teleported. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Love Sigma's entrance. Yeah, he makes quite the entrance. <laughs> so dare you ask why not Mega Man? I just forgot to pick up the ultimate armor. And you can't go back to get it. It's not an option. No! Oh my goodness. He does so much. Damage in Ryu Engine is not that good of an attack. It puts me in such a precarious state. I mean, I can at least jump out of it, but even then, man, it feels pretty bad. He can hit me from there? Okay, video game. Okay, video game. Whatever, man. Whatever, man. a lot faster than I was expecting! <laughs> Glackham says, it's okay, Banks. I had to do this for X2. Now it's your turn. Yo, Glackham, you act like I haven't done this for X1, X2, X3, and X4. Get out of here, man. And actually, I did do it for X5 as well. The first time I played X5 was not a speedrun. But I, I do actually know. I don't think in the casual run... No, in the casual run, I think I did get the ultimate armor. I think I did. I think someone told me how to get it. Yeah, I'm done with this one. I have no HP. Forget that one. But yeah, X1, X2, X3, and X4. All of those games, I learned the bosses. Like, their exact patterns. How to dodge everything. Like, especially X3. X3 was the hardest for me, casually. For the, uh, Sigma boss fight. I mean, I got there, but yeah, X3 took me forever. X4 was hard. 
I did spend quite a bit of time on Sigma and X4 my first time playing it, but X3... Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, get out of here with that! I did it in X2. I did it in X2 too! It was just a long time ago. Back in uh, 2015. 2015's the first time I beat X2. Again, you know, I didn't own the game after my uncle stole it from me. I never beat it as a kid. Yeah, it wasn't a speedrun. My first playthrough, I just did it because I love Mega Man games. It was way before I ever got into speedrunning stuff. It was when I was a really, really small stream, so there weren't, like, people there to, like, tell me what to do. It was, it, like, D-Train was there. Um, Mr. Deeds, I think. Like, really, really old people were there. Like, that was before Doomsday's time. Like, that's how long ago it was that I played X2. Uh, casually. All the way through for the first time. Gearing up for another race? I never said I was doing any races. If Doomsday said I was doing a race, it's an outright lie. I don't plan on racing anybody in 2018 in anything. No, sir. Gosh darn it. How did that not connect? Ah, uh, I can't tell how many times he's gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, Doomsday, you gotta clean up what you're saying or you're clearly going to uh, confuse people, so, you know, try a little harder. Uh, D-Train says, man, I remember when there was only like five of us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty normal. Just be like five people. And even that was on like a good day. When I started streaming, man, nobody was showing up. I mean, when I was first doing streams, I was only playing like retro games. And I wasn't speedrunning them, I was just casually playing whatever retro game I wanted to play. The first one was Breath of Fire 2, man. Not a lot of people showed up for Breath of Fire 2, I assure you. After that was the Mega Mans. After the Mega Mans, uh, I did Katamari Damacy. I think I did Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 on stream with Cinnamon. I can't remember if we did that only on YouTube. Oh, we definitely did Toy Pop. I remember playing Toy Pop, which is again is like another game that like nobody knows. Like no one showed up for it, but it was fun. Yeah, the pre-Super Mario Maker days. Such a long, long time ago. Galaxy far, far away. Ah, jeesh. I have no idea how many times he's gonna dash. Oh, where was my other jump? Feels really bad, dude. Oh, whoops. I forgot <laughs> that he can do that there. Oh, man. <coughs> he has like a whole other attack he does when he gets to half health, man. Gotta, gotta get this, man. Gotta get this. Blackham says, I make one tweet about game capture cards and some game capture card thingy follows me on Twitter. Sometimes I hate Twitter. Eh, I can tweet literally nothing. And I still get followed by, like, I don't know, some random really old person that's like, I'm all about business and networking! Like, why are you following me? We clearly have no similar interests. You're never gonna look at any of my stuff. 
I'm never gonna look at any of your stuff. It's a wasted follow. Again, just a reminder, I have no idea who this imaginary we that Doomsday is talking about, but I'm not participating in any sort of race. Oh, okay, I have to duck under that, and then there's a third deck. I don't, I don't know, Blackham. I would say, you know, there's not really anything going on. He didn't do any ground dashes that time. Oh, get feet. oh no, that's the wrong button. That is the wrong button. I'm good at this. Ah, uh, why do I forget that he does that? Gosh darn it. Okay, Vix, okay. You can dash so many times on the ground. I think I've seen him dash up to four times on the ground just back and forth. I kind of just got to wait for it. Yeah, no, I, I can completely understand that, Glackham. I've never been a huge fan of people that, like, don't really, you know, have a plan. Like, they don't really know what they're doing. Like, they're like, yeah, let's do this thing together, guy. But they don't have, like, a deadline. They don't have a date. They don't, they don't know what they're doing, man. Poorly structured. Not really planned at all. I mean, I was more into that when I was young. People were like, oh, let's just go out... Wherever the wind takes us, like literally, wherever the wind takes us, I had people say that. And I've done it! I've gone on adventures where I literally went in the direction that the wind was blowing. Like, wherever the wind was going, that's where me and all my friends were going in high school. I used to do that. But, uh, not so much anymore. We got a plan? Are we doing something? Where are we going? What are we gonna do? Who's all gonna be there? I need to know these things. Don't invite me to your random stuff. No thank you. It's, uh, some people are just really bad at playing. But, you know, it is what it is. Not like a bad thing or whatever. I mean, it's a little bit. A little bit of a bad thing. <laughs> Why triple dash in the diagonal dash? Oh, man. <laughs> Glacus says, I've never went anywhere the wind blew on purpose trying, uh, outside of trying to avoid rain on my face. That's fair. No, I did that a lot when I was a uh, senior in high school. It was like, we would just kind of be bored. We don't know what we want to do, man. We just want to hang out. And we would usually go to certain places over and over again, and then that would get boring. So it's like, alright, let's just go where the wind takes us. You know, that's that's what those high schoolers, them teenagers, that's what they're into, man. Just doing whatever we can, man. I did not fit in between that. No, sir. What even hit me? Did you see that? He didn't even touch me and I just exploded. What was that, dude? What was that? Oh. I expect everyone else to plan everything for me? Yo, 
I don't expect anyone to plan anything for me. I do all of my own planning on my own. But again, I've already said, I'm not doing any races, so... You can do all the little racy plans you want. That has nothing to do with me. Keep me out of it. It's not a plan for me if I'm not involved. You're planning for yourself. And you don't like that I don't like your planning. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Really smug right now. Probably shouldn't be. Sigma. Let it go. Ah, <laughs> I forgot, man. I forgot. <laughs> Shout outs to hitboxes? Yeah. But, like, lightning may not be the solution. I feel like it is. I just need to get good at, like, you know, beating them. Gotta get good. I don't know. I think I'll give this this last attempt. I'll use my E-Tanks and everything. If this doesn't work, I'm going to go ahead and call it for tonight. Well, you can always try again next time. Ah, gosh darn it. Why do I always forget? Marvel vs. Capcom infinite hitboxes? <laughs> What's up with that? I'm curious. Oh, oh, that's just the name you gave to that. Oh, okay. And yeah, now I'm dead. Oops. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's that's gonna be me, guys. That's gonna be me. We weren't we weren't able to do it. Maybe next time. I'm sure I could do it if I kept trying, but like it it's 1 a.m. I don't really feel like going that long tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and end here. But yo, much love to everyone who came by. You guys are the best. Well, most of you. Maybe not all of you. <laughs> no, no, no. You're all the best. Thank you very much. Um, I'm gonna find someone to host. There's a cool person on. <laughs> Rest in peace. Get good. Yo, we'll, we'll get him next time. We'll get him next time. I don't know if I'll do X1 through 5 tomorrow again. If people really, you know, want to see the comeback of Mega Man, I'm down, but... I don't know, I've been in just a variety mood lately, where I just kind of want to do whatever. And yeah, it was a lot of fun to play this, so I was cool with it, man. Let's see, uh, Dashing Drew's on. He's playing Fortnite. I don't know how many people are into Fortnite, but nah, man. Dashing Drew Rude is a cool guy, so I'm gonna host him. Simple as that. Uh, let's see, what are we saying? So next time, will we see you bop Sigma with Zero? Um, probably not. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I could do X1 through 5 again. I'm not against that. I'll probably just post it on, like, Twitter and see what people say, like, what they want to see. And I'll, I'll probably do that. I don't know. I'm just... I might go back to Pokemon Red. I could. I know people do like the Pokemon Red speedrun, so I might go back to that tomorrow as well. It just depends on my mood, man. I don't know. I've just been feeling... Feeling like just doing different things. But yeah, either way, that is me for tonight. I will catch you guys tomorrow. I'll be on same time, 7 p.m. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it.